How about backup? Is there, we see the failure in this um, operation, but there's like a backup wire or anything that should have engaged when they said go down to carry out the power or not? Originally, there were three transmission lines that came out of the power plant, feeder 11, feeder 12, and feeder 13. Feeder 11 and 12 and 13 all originate in the same duct bank up until where the intersection by Niski is. Uh, this presents a, a huge challenge to have the all three transmission lines in the same duct bank because in order to work safely in those manholes, you actually have to de-energize all three transmission lines. When they reach the Niski Center intersection, the duct bank or the conduit encased um, system splits. Feeder 12 goes up along the Niski Center route and along Back Street all the way to the Donald Francois substation. Feeder 11 and 13 actually commingle in the same duct bank. So in this manhole right here, there's actually two transmission lines that are in, in the same hole. Feeder 11 has not been active since the storms of 2017 because there was damage to the Donald Francois substation where the switch gear incurred water intrusion and debris and failed after the storms. We have some projects in with FEMA to replace that switch gear. We're intending to have it replaced within the next nine to 12 months. We're waiting on the restoration of the East End substation which should be done within the next month so that we can de-energize that switch gear. In a perfect world, if we had these three transmission lines active, feeder 11 would have taken the, the load that was existing on feeder 13. We normally operate with what's called N minus one redundancy, which means if you lose one portion of your system, you can default over to the second portion or the redundant system. Because feeder 11 isn't available, because of the damages from the storm, we were unable to do that. But we've been using the cable that is existing in the manhole for feeder 11 as a means for us to do the repairs without lengthy cable replacements and lengthy cable terminations. So at the end of the day, the, the de-energization of feeder 11 has been useful for us to make these repairs so that we don't have to extend these outages further um, to replace cable. We also have are working with FEMA right now to do a prudent replacement project for feeder 11 so that we can look at a more long-term planning for the redundancy of this system. Uh, there's a, there's a, also another project for a submarine cable that would go from the power plant to the Bovoni area where we're intending to put some wind farms. There's going to be a solar system out there. So that would be a redundant transmission system that would not be subject to any excavations or any commingling of duct banks because it would be a loan system that would allow us to extend our transmission system from the power plant all the way out to the east end of the island to support customers.